Malcolm X was born Malcolm Little on May 19, 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska to Earl and Louise Little. His father was a strong supporter of black nationalism or the idea of black society separating from white society. Malcolm's father moved the family twice due to death threats. In 1929, the Lansing, Michigan home was burnt down by the Black Legion, a white supremacist group. When Malcolm was a young child, his father was found murdered near the town's train station. It was suspected, but not confirmed, that members of Black Legion committed the crime. During grade school, Malcolm dreamt of becoming a lawyer, but was discouraged by his teacher. After, he spent time in Harlem, New York, and Boston, Massachusetts, where he became involved in crime. About this time, Malcolm began to follow the teachings of Elijah Muhammad, who was a known black nationalism supporter and a member of the Nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam stride to create equal rights for both men and women of all races. Malcolm changed his last name from Little to X to symbolize how his family lost their tribal name when they became slaves. Years later, Malcolm became a minister of the Nation of Islam, preaching black nationalism. Under his direction, the Nation of Islam grew to over 600,000 members. Malcolm X became one of the leaders of the violent movements for civil rights. Malcolm X was also one of the founders of the Black Power Slogan Ab Movement. In 1963, after a scandal involving his mentor, he left the Nation of Islam in search of a new group and created the Muslim Mosque, Inc. Throughout the rest of his years, Malcolm continued to be a civil rights leader until he was brutally assassinated on February 21, 1965 in New York City. All of Malcolm X's killers were members of the Nation of Islam. Talmadge Hare, Norman 3X Butler, and Thomas 15X Johnson were convicted of first-degree murder in 1966. It was discovered that the motives behind the murder were that the men wanted to defend Elijah Muhammad's honor after Malcolm left the Nation of Islam and renounced the man he once worshipped. Malcolm X's legacy lives on today. His brave and inspirational actions were key factors in the gaining of civil rights for all men and women of all races.